Responsible Development of Coal Bed Natural Gas in British Columbia, Part 1. Coal bed natural gas is no different from the natural gas used for heating, cooking, or electricity generation. What makes this type of natural gas unconventional is simply the fact that it is more technically challenging to produce. Primary concerns raised about coal bed natural gas exploration and development are protection of groundwater resources and the management of produced water. There have also been questions about surface impact of wells and related elements, including access roads and pipelines, and the facilities through which the gas is transported. These potential impacts are common to most natural gas developments, whether conventional or unconventional. In this video, we'll take a closer look at some of these concerns and the ways industry seeks to address them. Other videos in this series will discuss other aspects of development of natural gas from unconventional sources in Canada. Water Protection Protection of non-saline surface and groundwater resources is an important issue for Canadians, and it's something the unconventional gas industry takes extremely seriously. To protect both surface and groundwater, coal bed natural gas operators use production casing, cemented in place from the bottom of the well to the surface, to create a barrier between shallow water aquifers and the coal or sand formations which hold the natural gas. Water Production in some areas, water is trapped in the coals along with the natural gas. In these instances, the water must be removed to allow the gas that is present within the coal beds to flow to the well. This is known as dewatering. Concerns have been raised that coal bed natural gas wells could either drain valuable non-saline groundwater, or if the water is saline, could cause environmental concerns if improperly disposed of. The amount of water residing within the coals varies from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. While some hold water, others are dry. The experiences with produced water from one jurisdiction cannot be used to predict the experience in another region. In those areas where dewatering is required, the handling of all produced water is strictly controlled by government regulations. In British Columbia, the provincial government has released the BC Energy Plan, a vision for clean energy leadership which clarifies and enhances British Columbia's commitments to making British Columbia coal bed natural gas production the most environmentally responsible in North America. The standards in the energy plan mean companies wanting to develop coal bed natural gas will not be allowed to surface discharge produced water. Any re-injected produced water must be injected well below any domestic water aquifer. Water produced from coal bed natural gas wells has been put to a number of beneficial uses in jurisdictions in the United States. Some of these innovative uses may be appropriate for coal bed gas produced water in BC, but the specific method of water disposal in British Columbia will be determined on a case-by-case -case basis based on the individual characteristics of each well and in collaboration with members of the local community. Well density. Typically, coal bed natural gas reservoirs may require two to eight wells per square mile to optimize recovery of the natural gas. And through the application of technology, some flexibility often exists in where those wells are placed. While the companies developing the project need to place wells to accommodate pre-existing or potential future surface activities, operators work with landowners to try to find ways to minimize the operational footprint. For example, directional drilling may be technically feasible allowing gas from one area of the coals to be accessed by drilling at an angle from another area. Pipelines. Pipelines required to transport the coal bed natural gas to collection points are installed either in conjunction with or shortly after the drilling activities are completed. The pipelines are placed underground through trenching or plowing depending on the timing of the installation and corresponding soil conditions. Wells that are producing natural gas are linked or tied into the pipeline as soon as they come online. Well Site Facilities The natural gas in coal bed wells is usually trapped underground at lower pressures than conventional natural gas. As a result, some form of compression system is often required at coal bed natural gas well sites to push the gas into the pipeline system. Compression equipment can be used at individual well sites, but more commonly, one compressor handles multiple wells covering a larger area. In both cases, noise attenuation technology is available to reduce the sound levels from the compressor.
This video is one of a series produced by the Canadian Society for Unconventional Gas as part of its focus on informing the public and industry about unconventional natural gas. The Canadian Society for Unconventional Gas encourages its member companies to conduct their operations responsibly to minimize the potential impacts that unconventional gas operations could have on stakeholders and to adhere to recommended best practices. This includes working with interested groups and individuals to ensure that issues and priorities are understood and taken into consideration from the earliest stages of industry activity. For more information about the unconventional gas industry in Canada, please visit the Canadian Society for Unconventional Gas website at www.csug.ca.